Good afternoon, it's Jeremy. It's Sunday, January the 10th, and we're looking at open plotter again. We've uh, done three posts about open plotter. The first, first post was about installation, the second one was about attaching your GPS, and the third one was about AIS. Today, I want to look at one of the um, SDR VHF options, which is called GQRX. It's a wideband software that works on the Raspberry Pi and it allows you to use the RTL SDR uh, in its full mode from 25 megahertz to 1750 megahertz. Here's a, a little a quick view of, this is my GPS receiver. This is version one of the RTL. This is a plastic version with the MCX connector. And this is the one I'm using right now. It's version two, the metal case with the SMA connector. And I've got my VHF antenna outside connected to a PL259 UHF to SMA adapter. And that goes into the, um, there's the Raspberry Pi 3. I've got it set up in this Pi Top, which is kind of a, a maker type of uh, installation. So you can access the GPIO from the Raspberry Pi on a circuit board here. So I use that for testing various things. And we'll, do, we'll connect some sensors to it after. Right now I've got the GQRX running and I'm listening to uh, Toronto Marine Weather. There's no um, uh, amplifier, audio amplifier on the Raspberry Pi, so there's a jack which allows you to get the uh, decoded audio, and I pipe that over to um, my amplifier connected to my TV. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna go over to the uh, my laptop on my table, and we're using the uh, uh, VC uh, server um, to uh, remote control the Raspberry Pi, as I've discussed in the previous post. So let's go over there. Okay, so here we are uh, on the desktop now. I'm using the uh, VNC server to connect to the Raspberry Pi. And this is the, um, the GQRX application running here, and I'm listening to 162.4 uh, megahertz, which is the Toronto Marine weather. Now let's just backtrack a little bit and look at a few of the menus here. Um, here's uh, OpenCPN, okay, and there's my red boat indicating where I am. That's the GPS working and those are the uh, strength bars. If you go into the terminal, uh, some of the things you can do here uh, to check um, what's going on is um, the first thing I do is just to make sure I can uh, see my RTL um, receiver. Here's a command, it's called dmessage uh, pipe grep RTL, and that'll tell you it's connected. So let's hit that, and you can see it's registered there, so it's found. And the other thing I do is just to make sure I can find my um, GPS receiver. Uh, I do the same thing, grep TTY, and there's my uh, GPS receiver, TTY USB 0. The other thing I've noticed, uh, if I enter the top command, it tells you the CP, um, the percentage of CPU usage. One of the things I've noticed with the GQRX module, there's a lot of signal processing going on there. So you'll notice it eats up um, a huge percentage of the CPU. So depending on how much you've got running on the Raspberry Pi, if you're decoding a pretty difficult signal, uh, you may get some breakup in the GQRX because it takes a little bit um, too much CPU power. I'm running this on a Raspberry Pi 3B. Um, so I'm probably pushing the processing power there. If I was to run it on a Raspberry Pi 4, I'd probably be, be okay all the time, but it's it's still pretty good. So let's go back to the, um, let's go to SDR VHF. Now, in Open Plotter, if I go to Open Plotter um, SDR VHF, when I hit that, this is what I see. So we installed that in the previous post. So when you install the SDR VHF, it gives you these options. You can listen to AIS, you can listen to ADSB. ADSB is the um, aircraft equivalent of AIS. So aircraft now have the ADSB transponder. So that's very useful. 
Uh, GQRX is the wideband receiver which we're looking at now, and these are some fu future options. So uh, under processes, um, under processes here, I've um, unchecked these because I want to use the RTL. The RTL SDR is used for AIS, and I don't want it uh, to be used for AIS right now because I want to use it on the uh, GQRX. So I've stopped these processes. In the previous post, we had to check this and start the process to use AIS, but I've unchecked it and stopped it so I can use it on um, GQRX. So that's something you have to do. Okay, so let's go to GQRX. Now, when you first open GQRX, what you're going to have to do is go on this symbol here, and you're going to have to find your particular SDR receiver. So there's mine, the Realtek RTL, and that's why you do the uh, terminal to go and find exactly what it's called. So there's mine there. Um, these are other options. The uh, GQRX works with other different types of receivers, but we're using it with the RTL. So you have to find which one you're using it with. So that's the one I've got. And you say OK there. And once you've, once you've chosen that, then you go over here and you click the Run button, and it should uh, start to run. Here's some things uh, under um, Receiver Options. Uh, you can enter your frequency correction. I'm using the metal one, which is very accurate, at least mine is, so it's 0 ppm. The plastic one I found was 27 ppm, so you have to enter that in there. Uh, right now we're listening to Toronto Marine Weather. If I crank up the volume here, we can probably hear it. Here we go, you can hear it in the background there. This receiver is good from 25 megahertz up to um, 1.7 gigahertz. We can listen to FM as well. Here's FM 99.9. Let's have a listen to that. You can hear that breaking up a bit. Um, there's a lot of signal processing power going on here for this particular signal. And that's the breakup you hear. It's because we don't have enough horsepower in the Raspberry Pi 3. It's a wideband signal, so it's just taking too much signal processing for the Raspberry Pi 3. Let's try another signal. It's not so bad. So that's wideband FM. Switching to mono is a little bit better in terms of less processing power. You can also listen to air. So let's listen to some air frequencies here. Okay, I've moved down to uh, 121.9 megahertz, and you can see there's lots of uh, AM air uh, activity uh, in this frequency band. So um, just to recap then, the GQRX receiver allows you to use the full potential of the RTL SDR, and it has multi-modes from AM, FM, and wideband FM. So you can use it to receive a, a variety of signals, so it's quite handy. Uh, if you're decoding a very powerful like FM station, wideband FM station, you may overdrive the Raspberry Pi 3 if you're using it. Uh, one way around that perhaps would be to uh, decrease the sampling rate or lower the signal processing in some way with the FFT. That might be one way to do it. But in any case, for the lower bandwidth signals like the Marine FM and the Air AM, seems to work fairly well.